How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a fitness question. From the day we are born, most of us go about our lives with one side of the body that's stronger than the other. This imbalance in both strength and coordination will not only hold you back in the gym, but in your everyday life as well. But why do these imbalances take place? And what is the best way to bring your two halves back into equilibrium? I am going to answer this question from a scientific perspective. So without further delay, let's get started. Muscle strength is influenced by two major factors. The first is hypertrophy or size. Muscles with a large amount of physiological cross-sectional area have the potential to create more force, which is going to lead to lifting heavier things in the gym. The second and arguably more important factor is neuromuscular control, your body's ability to stimulate or control these muscle fibers. Neuromuscular motor control is represented in the primary cortex of the brain. The more space that you have allocated to a muscle in the primary cortex, the more neuromuscular control you're going to have over it, and as a result you will see an increase in strength. Now you're probably asking yourself, how do you create more neuromuscular control for each muscle? And the answer is... Repetition. Let me give you an example. Because we spend so much time using our hands, our brain has adapted to allocate more motor control to our forearm flexors and extensors, which not only allows us to do all sorts of nifty hand moves, but it enables more strength, even though the amount of actual muscle present within the forearm is pretty low. This discrepancy in neuromuscular control allows one muscle to grow a little bit larger than the other, and then you're left with either an asymmetrical physique, dysfunction, or a combination of both. So if this all comes down to a neuromuscular control issue, what is the best way to fix this? Let's take a closer look. There are two keys to correct a muscle imbalance. The first is increasing your body awareness. Now this doesn't just mean limiting yourself to what you're doing wrong in the gym, but also starting to notice little things in your daily life that may be contributing to your imbalance. For example, do you constantly sleep, slouch, or even carry a backpack on one side of your body over the other? If not, I can almost guarantee you probably use the same hand to brush your teeth, wash dishes, and perform other essential functions. While I don't necessarily recommend completely switching hands for these tasks, I do recommend either videotaping yourself or have a friend watch you during your exercises, particularly the big heavy lifts. This is essential to identify which muscle is struggling. Now that you've figured out the affected muscle, the second thing you have to do is practice consciously engaging that muscle. Using dumbbells is a good way to do this because you get good isolation between the left and right sides, but it's not entirely necessary. Just make sure that when you are doing a big heavy barbell lift, you're really keying into that weak side and engaging the appropriate muscles evenly. Taking some weight off the bar and emphasizing a slow controlled pace is also a great way to ensure this happens. Do you have any special tricks to avoid muscle imbalances? Feel free to let me know in the comments below or on Facebook or Twitter. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and stay strong.